Hello Gamer Nights, this is Moobit here, your friendly media manager from Gamer Nights at Cody UK, Moobit Media. And all that other lovely stuff, you already knew that. We've got cheeky power just off camera here, do you want to lean in? Lean in! Oh, okay, she's going to come in. Because look at that, this, this is how they sell things to you, they give you popcorn and let you play FIFA. It's, it's just... You're not complaining now, are you? No. No, go away. <laughs> As you can see, we're here at the Philips stand with the Screenio, which is basically a short throw projector for all your gaming and movie goodness. Uh, basically, put it about 40 centimetres away from the wall, say. Not very far at all, and it throws a huge um, screen up onto, onto your wall for all your gaming goodness. Lovely high refresh rate, it's fantastic. We're going to have a word with the guys here and have a little product tour and show you all about it. And there's some more information in the description below and over on Gaming House at Code UK. So, let's go! Okay, and we're here, we're here with Mark from uh, Philips to give us a, a rundown of the Screenio. So we're gonna, we've got uh, the, the double cam system as we always do. So let's have a go. How are you doing, Mark? I'm good, thanks. And you? Not too bad. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. So we're talking about uh, a completely new concept in large screen home entertainment. It's the Screenio. So from a very short distance from the wall, just 44 centimetres, you get a massive 100 inch image. So you don't need to worry anymore about having your projector way back in the room or hung up on the ceiling, which isn't necessary to everyone's taste, have it down the front, probably where all your kit already is, your skybox, your version box, your DVD player and your games console, have it down the front, that's where it is, plug it in and you can be up and running in less than an hour. That's what we're talking about. So um, let's get the, get the specs out of the way because obviously the nerds want to know that. Um, what's the sort of refresh rate and what's the, you know, is it 720, 1080, that kind of thing? It's, it's a 720 HD uh, projector but uh, have a look at the image quality, it's absolutely sensational. The, the refresh rate on the, uh, the from a gaming point of view, I think I showed you the spec, is 16.6 milliseconds, which is quite nice. exceptional from a gaming point of view. It is. Um, it compares very well versus other TVs or monitors or, or projectors, so that's a nice edge for, for those that are into their gaming. It is. We've got FIFA, you can't see there, but you probably saw it in the intro there. We've got FIFA running right now. Local derby, obviously, we're in Birmingham um, on the screen, and it just looks amazing, guys. You can take it from me, and I'm, you know how much of a nerd I am for these kind of things, and the 720 a lot of people, you know, you see on the forums, on the really nerdy forums, they're like, hey, I like 1080. Really? You can get a 1080 for your projector, it's a lot more expensive, refresh rate's lower, so it looks pants anyway. This looks fantastic, silky smooth. I'm really impressed by it, to be honest. Yeah, no, we've had massive crowds, lots of guys wanting to, to play the game. And uh, yeah, but obviously with the large screen, people get totally immersed in their, in their gameplay. Mm, exactly. Right, so let's have a little product tour, shall we? We're going to switch to the to small screens now, so uh, let's uh, show, show us your wares, my friend. By all means, you've got, a to you've got three uh, HDMI connectors with the product, so it's easy to connect your TV source a games console and a, a Blu-ray player or a DVD player. Uh, you've also got a VGA connector, so for your, for your PC. You've got an Ethernet port, so uh, you can connect, uh, it's DLNA compatible, so if you're home networking, if you want to project source stuff from a media server, you can do that. Uh, it's also a Wi-Fi product, so you can connect your broadband, you can do all your internet browsing on the large screen, uh, which is great fun. Um, plus at the front here, You've got an additional HDMI slot, you've got a slot for uh, uh, an SD card, and you've got another USB slot as well, and that all tucks away neatly behind there. That's fantastic for those who've got multiple consoles, and um, those who are basically um, who are streaming on Twitch and things, sometimes you have to unplug a console, stick it into a, into a capture card, sit the capture card in front of that, and away you go. That's yeah, absolutely. A lot, lot less messing about. Do you want to just have a, have a quick look at the home screen? Because this shows you the... Uh, this shows you all your options. So when you flick to the home screen, you can see all your options. You've got three HDMI connectors there. Uh, the product's also Bluetooth, so when you're not projecting, you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Simply stream your music from your tablet or your phone. Use it as a, as a Bluetooth speaker in your lounge. DNA, I've already mentioned. Uh, it's got its own 4K memory already built in, so you can store your favorite files on board the projector. Otherwise, uh, extra content via an SD card or USB stick or USB hard drive. Access to the web, I've mentioned, VGA, uh, AV in, uh, you have an app section, and then finally you've got uh, the opportunity to change all your settings down in the bottom corner there. Won't run through them all, but the one that uh, I like the most is under your image settings, and that is wall color correction. 
So if you're not projecting onto a white screen, but you're going to project onto a, a yellow wall, a pink wall, a green or a blue wall, you can simply change the settings and the projector will compensate the colours for you automatically. Right, so you don't actually need to get a separate um, cinema screen or anything like that? No, you don't. I mean, I've been using mine at home. I use mine on a yellow wall. Uh, I obviously make the adjustment in the settings uh, and the image works a treat. Now that is a, to be fair, that is a cool little setting. I do like that a lot. Uh, you can also ceiling mount the projector if you wish, uh, and even rear project if you wish. So it's got, it's, got, it's uh, you know, it's a fully featured projector, fully featured projector. We're not uh, not really cutting any corners with this product. And also, I mean, I use uh, a Chromecast for things at home um, to send things from my phone, my tablet, things like that, over to the TV. So has this got like a Miracast kind of a yeah, thing built in? Or? Absolutely, it's compatible with Miracast, so you can uh, navigate from your tablet or your phone and uh, and just throw the big image onto the onto the screen. Uh, or you can access the internet through the browser, it's Android 4.1, so I use a wireless keyboard and mouse just uh, from, the, from my lap on the sofa. That is pretty damn cool. So it's just going to be replaced everything. Um, internet enabled um, hard drives, things like that, for people who've got the movers all in one place. You can, you can plug those into here, can you? And yeah, I've got, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so... Um, Let's talk business. Uh, when when's this thing out? When can people get their greasy hands on it? And what kind of prices are we talking? Oh, right. Well, uh, the, the screen is out now. Um, it's available from uh, places like Maplin online, uh, Curry's online, uh, Amazon. Uh, to, really, just to name but a few. So uh, basically, all good uh, high street electrical uh, retailers. Uh, probably best place to look online first. It's not it's not necessarily available in every store. So best to check availability online. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay then, uh, Mark, thank you for having us. Um, more on the screen, you know, on GameDazzle.co.uk and of course Movit Media in the very near future. Hopefully uh, we're going to get a little hands-on with this thing in an actual home environment rather than a big, bright, loud <laughs> expo hall. But yeah, thanks, thanks for your time, Mark. No problem. Nice to meet you. I like to move it, move it, bit, 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 bit.